Well, hi, this is the segment, Eat What You Want. And uh, I have my friend again, Amy Crippen. Hi, Amy. Hi. Amy, the other day, I, well, it's not just the other day, a long time ago, I fell into this, um, on, on this book, um, Eat According to Your Blood Type. So I'm O negative. So in the O negative, I saw that I can't eat strawberries, which totally sucks. Uh, <laughs> I love strawberries. I, can I tell you, I don't listen to it. Uh, I still <laughs> eat strawberries. And um, they said that, they say that the, the O negative is an ancient blood type and that I should be eating a lot of meat, especially beef, red meats and stuff like that. And I have to admit, I kind of like love meat. I, and I'm an animal lover and, you know, like I have to not think about what they do to the animal. <laughs> uh, I think I'm a closet vegan, but my body's like, give me meat. So, it might be your blood type. <laughs> yeah. So I was wondering, like, um, what do you think about, first of all, have you ever heard of the blood type? Like, it's not a diet. It's like a eat according to your blood type kind of thing. Um, and, uh, because as you know, I don't like dieting, but like, can we, can we talk about that for those people who are like looking to eat what they want and they're not eating what they want? Yeah. Um, so I don't know a lot. I, I mean, I've heard of the, the blood type diet, but I, I've never like done any sort of research on it or read really anything, um, particular, um, and I can definitely share my own experience too of, okay. of dieting, you know, and knowing what that feels like and not even realize I'm dieting. I think I'm just trying to lean into um, healthier habits, right? I notice I put on some weight. I want to, I want to lose the weight. So I, all diets fundamentally have a calorie deficit, right? Because the, the calories in, you know, are supposed to be less than what you're expending. It's this this um, mathematical measurement. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting because like scientifically, we don't even have a really good measurement of how many calories are in each thing. It's not very um, like the, precise. The, yeah. So not accurate. So, yeah. Yeah. Calories is a unit of energy, right? Like, so it's measuring energy, you know? So it's, it, it's trying to say what you take in will expend this amount of unit of energy and there's really just no way to really scientifically study that because our bodies really adapt to whatever is needed um, and 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 so my experience has just been that I didn't even realize I was dieting <laughs> I didn't think that's what it was until I really started um uh listening to my body and, and, um, you know, really evaluating what, how I wanted to feel and noticing the difference and, and the choices that I was making and how it actually made me feel. Cause, because that's actually what I want. I want to, I, I want to feel that way. I want to just cause, you know, I, I want to do a little parentheses here mm -hmm. because, you know, people like me are looking at you going, you were freaking dieting. Come on, give me a break. Uh, <laughs> well, I lost 60 pounds though. So, there you, go. you know, that, yeah. That's what I want you to talk about because I know, like I knew, mm -hmm. I knew that that's what happened to you, but anybody that's just listening to you and don't know you, they don't know this. Mm -hmm. So like, that's what happened to you when you lost your 60 pounds. Yeah. And well, and I think it's interesting to, talk about this too, because I put on the 60 pounds the same way we talked about in the last segment from stress and responding to the stress with a donut and a coffee every single day for like, I don't know, a year and a half <laughs> or something. Yeah. And I loved that donut. I just wanted to go in and have the donut. And, and then I felt all of the lack of energy. I felt totally burnt out. I didn't realize I th you know, I felt like it was coming at me. I didn't realize it was, the, you know, the way that I was like responding to, to the stress, you know? So, um, yeah, so it, 
it's um it was a slower I didn't have like some amazing like I lost 60 pounds in three months it took me like you know I don't even really quite remember but you know it took me like a year or something like that just slowly came off and but the nice thing is that um you know like I, I don't have to like I don't stress about food anymore you know So you were literally just listening to your body. Yeah. I mean, but also taking, I I was taking that information and, you know, that we're, we're told about, um, you know, trying to eat more foods that I know come from like the earth, right? Like it, it, it's here. It's not in a box of chips and Cheetos and stuff. I'm not saying I wouldn't ever have those or brownies. I, you know, I was, that was part of the mindful eating process. I was being um, cognizant of those things, but I just, uh, I didn't, I didn't put all, some days I would eat a lot. Some days I'd hardly eat anything. Cause that's kind of how our appetites work sometimes because that energy expenditure, very, very um, variant. Yeah. We have these rules, you know, like those of us who, um, are in the I need to lose weight world uh, have pretty much read every possible thing out there. Um, You know, well, you shouldn't eat after seven, you shouldn't eat before four, you shouldn't uh, have sugar after 8pm, you shouldn't have fruit, you should have fruit, you should, you shouldn't have carrots, you should have greens, you should, it's just like, it becomes, it, it's just so chaotic, you know, and it like, for me, like, literally, I was just like, whatever, screw all of this. I am how I am. And if you don't like it, stop looking, because this is how I am, you know. And, uh, and I, I, I think I've, I said this in the prior uh, session, but I basically just put this, all of the all of this subject, I put it in a box and I said, okay, I put a key on it and I stored it way, way far away so that I didn't have to look at it. And I was just like, no, I'm not looking at that anymore. I'm going to eat what I want, when I want, how I want, and that's it, you know? And then that has definitely uh, created that I gained a lot of weight, you know, like, and, and on top of it, at the same time, I was watching my health in the sense that, you know, I stopped smoking, you know, Mm -hmm. I was like, it was clear for me. It was like, okay, no, I'm not going to smoke anymore. This doesn't work for me. Uh, I don't drink software. Uh, Don't drink (laughs) software. I don't drink software. No, I don't. I use software a lot. I don't drink soft drinks. You know, Um, I stopped in 2011, although I did start back again, but I, it's just like one per month kind mm-hmm. of thing, you know, where as opposed to it used to be, you know, two cans of diet Pepsi per lunch per dinner, you know. Um, so it just gets very like we kind of we create these rules, we've heard these rules, and we've adopted some of them. And then we haven't adopted some of them, <laughs> like we, we refused some and accepted some, you know, like I don't eat after seven. You know, like that one, I've adopted it. But is it true? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I played with that sort of stuff too. The, um, the what do you call it? Uh, intermittent fasting, you know. Yeah. And, and, and that's where some of this stuff gets really sugar-coated as like, oh, that makes sense. Paleo, like we weren't supposed to eat that way. Oh, that makes sense. My blood type. Yeah. Oh, got it my body should rest and not eat, you know, and have periods of rest, which is true. I mean, like we have periods of rest, but it just, it just literally, if we tune into the hunger in a different way, when we tune in and notice like, that the experience and where it's coming from and, and are mindful of like, are we just, do, are we just eating to eat? Yeah. Cause I do that sometimes too. Like I still catch myself doing it sometimes. It's not like I have this like perfect um, expression of never eating when I'm not hungry, but it doesn't feel as comfortable anymore because as much as, um, 
as much as I got used to the donut every day and feeling icky, I now have like gotten used to like feeling better and know when I'm like, I almost forgot what it felt like to feel good, yeah. you know, in that state. Yeah. And we can really, um, we can really trust ourselves um, that it, we don't have to show up perfect for this at all. So funny because, you know, the past few I, I, I'm going to say since the beginning of the year, um, and, and it's recent during, while we're recording this, we're actually still in January, but um, I'm really, I, I, I have been skipping a meal mm-hmm. and I usually don't skip a meal because, you know, it's like, you have to have your three meals. That was kind of like the thing that showed up for me, but I've been skipping, skipping a meal. And I have been waking up, you know, in the middle of the night, hungry. And, and I've just been like, yeah, I'll eat in the morning, just go back to bed, you know, go, go back to sleep, girl. And it's been fine. You know, I haven't been, um, uh, you know, I haven't died by skipping, skipping a meal. But I notice that I still believe that if I don't do my three meals a day, I'm going to get fat. Like I have to do my three meals a day. And then what I also noticed is that because I didn't do my three meals a day, I kind of go start, you know, I, that girl, <laughs> thought that hammers. girl. Yeah. Thought yeah. hammers. right. Mm-hmm. So now there, there is adding stress. Like I'm adding stress and pressure to myself. So um, what would you tell me in this situation? Like, should I continue to do this? No, that's definitely a no. I know that was a stupid question. (laughs) It wasn't stupid. (laughs) Yeah, we definitely can't like keep, you know, hammering ourselves. Because is it working? Yeah. Are, Are you stopping the habit? No, so it's not helpful, right? So, so it seems like okay. Well, then there has to be an, an upstream new idea for something yeah. fresh, something yeah. new to land on this, you know, to approach it in a way I haven't done before. And have have you ever just tried listening to your body in a way yeah. where you yeah. yeah? Well, I think that I haven't been eating because I wasn't hungry. Mm-hmm. yeah that's why I didn't like I was like okay I'm fine I I don't need to eat I was looking at the time like now it's eight like what am I gonna like make pasta and then I'm gonna be full I'm like no no you know mm-hmm. yeah yeah and it's this element of control that we sometimes want right that we want to like con- when, when we do have the goal of like losing weight we want to control how fast it comes off and like watch how fast it's coming off and oh look now we gained two pounds back like what are we doing wrong you know instead of just like flowing with the consistent like what actually maintains weight loss is that consistent habit and um if we're (laughs) if we're looking for a diet that we would never want to live on for the rest of our life it makes no sense to even put that in in the as a solution you know yeah Mm -hmm. well um i'm i'm i was gonna say i'm not looking to lose weight obviously i am looking to lose weight but i'm not looking really at the weight i what i not aiming for a certain weight i'm not i'm i want to be natural i want to be you know, at my natural weight for the body that I have. And I want to be able to move the way that I want to move. And I'm feeling more and more like that. I know that the past few years I've been working on my movement and my eating and my habits. And I've been looking at seeing, you know, the mental thinking, the, all the, the, the psychology that's there that I'm like trying to figure out that really makes no difference anyways, and just trying to live in the moment. So, um, yeah, I just want to be the natural Jasmine, you know, and I haven't seen her in a little while, but I'm seeing her show up more and more. So, 
Yeah. So I, I'm looking forward to more of our conversations, Amy. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm just keeping yes. you. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah. thank you very much for doing this again, everybody. Keep doing it. Eat what you want. Look at it. Be mindful. Amy, what else do you like? Would you like? How would you like to end this segment? Yeah. Um, just be gentle with yourself. You know. Mm. Yeah. Don't layer. Um, our worth is not, and our bodies are what we eat. Mm. Our bodies and what we eat are just part of the experience, and we should really enjoy both. Cool. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.